boys and girls of the shop! So, in my last, uh, several videos, we roasted the hell out of Wildcard. Go check out my videos covering the whole turret thing if you haven't already done that yet. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with these last few videos, and I thought, you know what? Let's double, triple dip on them and roast Team WC again! You know, because I'm just still so frustrated over this gosh darn aberration and turrets thing. And I'm still not done getting my anger out, gosh darn it! So for today's very exciting top five, we're gonna be counting down the top five stupid ass things about Ark. Five stupid ass things that just make the game feel like it's really not out of early access and the devs just rushed the release to justify the $60 price tag of an early access game. Let's get right into it. <sighs> Coming in at number five. The building system, man. The stupid clunky building system. I mean, I shouldn't even need to go in depth on this. If you've ever played this game, you've had to deal with this trash building system. Look, there's no defense for this. This is a, a, a completed game at this point. And what in the hell, man? Like, okay, what do I start with? How about the pillars? The fact that the pillars still stick up through the ceilings, which is just the most annoying thing in the world. Or how about the fact that you have your indicator, your green outline of your building piece, and it clearly shows you can place the damn thing down, and then you left click to place it down and it doesn't go down, or even worse, it snaps to a snap point that isn't even there. It like snaps all the way in, in some backwards 180, 360 bendy, bizarro way and you're just left like what so you destroy it and then you put it back down but it always snaps in the wrong way or the just the fact that it's so tedious having to assign a piece to your hot bar and then click the hot bar and left click and click the hit hot bar and left click and click the hot bar and left click over and over and over and over again it's so frustrating i i, I hate building an arc i just avoid it because of this or how about the fact that if you make a mistake sorry kid you better just destroy it, build another one, and try again. And if you fail to put that one down, well, guess what? You better destroy it and put that one down again, too. Or how about the fact that it's just, I mean, overall clunky. I mean, unless you find a perfectly flat piece of land to build on, it's like you can't build properly. This is then you have to use these stupid pillars that are just unreliable and inconsistent. And ugh, the whole thing's just terrible. So this is why on every unofficial server ever, you see them running S+, because people don't even want to use this. Devs, fix the damn building system. This is not a building system in a completed game. This is a joke. We have to use a mod, because modders do a better job than you do. <sighs> Number four. It's Jen's fault, man. It's freaking Jen. Where do I start with this? Everything's Jen's fault, all right? If you got a problem, it's Jen's fault. Wild card, wild card. What's with all these promises that you never keep? This is ridiculous. Your release date. I already talked about this in my last video. You can watch that video, but come on. It's always, you guys have never, I don't think you've ever had an accurate release date. You're still trash at estimating when something's gonna be released, even official content release content people paid for that dlc and they don't have it you said october's in your trailer how about direct x12 where's our direct x12 huh can you even run this game in sli i think you need direct x12 for that where's my direct x12 still haven't gotten that that was something we're supposed to get how about um accurate uh, meshes for every item so that when you throw it on the ground the mesh actually represents the item i thought that was so cool where'd it go primal survival where the hell is primal survival you announced that what last year over a year ago we haven't heard a thing about it where did where did primal survival go where what about that tlc pass huh <laughs> You were supposed to have a TLC pass before releasing the game. You remember that one? Where you're supposed to go back in 
and give a little tender love and care to the old dinos, you know, the ones that are totally obsolete and irrelevant that no one will ever use because, well, they're old. You know, the Parasaur, the Raptor, the whatever, you get you get the picture. So the, the, the first ever dinos, they've become irrelevant and you're supposed to give us a TLC pass where you're gonna update them, give them new attacks and abilities and that kind of stuff. What happened to that TLC pass? Oh, I guess you're just not gonna do it because you're working on your next money-making thing. So you don't care about the rest of the game. Abandoning the DLC. I mean, what happened with Scorched Earth? Anybody remember that? Like it came out last year and then you get in, it's like, yeah, Scorched Earth, bro, it's cool. Two weeks later, no one plays it anymore. The last piece of content they actually added to Scorched Earth was that Phoenix. No one plays Scorched Earth for that. There's no point in playing Scorched Earth. The devs don't support it. The devs don't update it. They don't do anything for Scorched Earth. They pushed out the DLC to make some money and then they abandoned it. Why should I, I mean, why, why play Scorched Earth? There's no point. You can't even get the dinos exclusive on Scorched Earth. The dinos are available on Ragnarok or through mods or anything else. There's literally no point in owning Scorched Earth DLC because no one even plays on the map anyway. And then, of course, we've got these sketchy business practices, which I already kind of mentioned. How about increasing the price of an early access game to $60 before it's out of early access? Or how about selling DLC for a game that's in early access? That one's actually really sketchy. I mean, it was still, I mean, at the time I was like, cool, this is great DLC, but still, you, you gotta, you can't hide from criticism on that one. Coming in at number three, game and server performance! <laughs> Since day one, this game has run like trash! Okay, it ran like trash on day one. We get it, early access. The game still runs like trash! No excuses! This game is... You say this game is out of early access. This game isn't optimized. It still runs like trash. You've done some things to optimize the game, and no doubt it runs amazingly better than how it did in the beginning, but I'll tell you what, one times five is five. <laughs> That's not a lot, right? It's it, it doesn't run how it should. And then the next thing, server performance. Ark is such an, an optimized piece of garbage. Sorry, it's true. I know a lot. I know we love Ark. It's a great game. We all love it. But let's let's face the fact here. Ark is an unoptimized piece of trash. <laughs> you need unbelievable raw power to run this game, and there's not really a good excuse for that. I don't care that it's a survival game. I don't care that there's bases and lots of players. I mean, look at Arma. <laughs> you have like 200 people, and you can run it on some trash box just fine. Even on all vanilla settings, no mods. I mean, just go to the official servers. It's horrible. You'll go to hit a rock and you'll have to wait like five seconds to collect your resource. Constant rubber banding, constant crashes. It's, it's silly. To actually run this game at a decent, you know, at, at a decent level where you're not going to experience tons of crashes and rubber banding and lag, what you need is you actually need a dedicated box. So that means a machine that exists just to run your ARC server with nothing else on it. Which, by the way, we run our servers on a dedicated box, which means ARC actually runs really good. No rubber banding or crashing, so you should go check out our Light RP server, link in the description. Coming in at number two, official servers. Official servers, the cancer. The cancer! Like, if you want to just get stage 10 cancer within the next 60 seconds, go join an official server. Where do I start with official servers? Well, because <laughs> I'm still on the whole issue of trash performance, how about the performance of official servers? They run like trash! Unbelievable lag! Uh, it's just terrible. Again, you hit something, you wait like five seconds to gather it, you have, okay, let's see. I have, a, I have a bit of a list here, so we're going to talk about it and go through the list. Official servers, a place for all aimbotters. Don't think you're going to join an official server and actually be able to play the game legit, because everybody on there is using aimbots. So you're never going to have a fair PvP, and this is common. They don't even hide it, because they don't get banned. And even if they do get banned, and even if everybody knows that they did it, they don't get banned once they get on another account. The Chinese, the invasion, the Chinese invasion of ARK. I've already covered this one in a video. There's more about that. Go ahead and click the link. DDoSing, constant DDoSing. 
With these PvPers, PvPers are, uh, I mean, okay, PvP is great, so don't think I'm attacking PvP in general. But what I am attacking is this cancer culture within the PvP community. They're honestly just a bunch of dorks. And what they do is they'll strategically use DDoSing to get an advantage. So they'll DDoS a server and then Zerg rush it. So they'll take it down and then rush into the server to get an advantage on PvP. You have this ridiculous problem of unbelievable server takeovers where you can't build anywhere. You can't collect any resources. You can't do anything because you have these mega tribes that have just completely taken over. It's literally impossible to play on official servers unless you're part of one of these mega, mega super tribes. And then you have the issue of unbelievable cheapo duping. You thought duping wasn't a thing in the game or you thought duping was patched? No, it wasn't. Duping is very much alive. And the way they'll exploit this is by using DDoSing. They'll DDoS the server, take it down, and dupe. The way it works is right before a server goes down, you upload items into the arc, and then you force the server down using DDoSing. Now, once the server comes back up, you have the original item in your inventory plus the item uploaded into the arc. It's impossible to play official servers legit, so don't even bother. That's why unofficial servers like my own are so hot, so come join us. <laughs> Number one! The stupid server browser! Ugh! I hate this stupid server browser, man! It's so bad! You call this a completed game! You say the game isn't early access anymore, but then we have to deal with this trash every freaking day, man! The stupid server browser! How on earth can you call this? A completed game with this stupid server browser. Ah! <sighs> okay. Yeah, you changed the way the server browser looks for release, but that's all you did. You just reskinned it. The thing's still a piece of trash. Have you ever tried searching for a server on the server browser and it just cuts your internet out? Why? Why does this stupid game disconnect my internet for like 60 seconds? Like, I'm trying to do other things while I'm loading into the game or searching for a server. And now I can't do anything else on my computer because Arc decided to cut my internet. And I'm not the only one who experiences this, by the way. This is a very common thing, and many, many people run into it. Why? I don't know. And second of all, the search. Hey, kids, you want to start your own Arc server? Guess what? No one's ever going to find your server anyway. Your server's not going to show up in the server browser. The server browser will randomly choose a list of servers, and there's, what, 20,000 servers plus on Arc? I think the server browser shows about a thousand. So in other words, your server's not showing up in that server browser, so don't even bother starting a server because no one can find it and no one can host it unless you want to spend a lot of money for a dedicated box. Dope completed game, guys. Dope non-early access game, guys. Dope final release, guys. <sighs> Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.